what's going on homies? It's your boy Stumped back for another OPTC video and in today's video we have a very interesting one for you guys taking on PKA level 103 with a bit of a fodder account. Um, over the last couple weeks since the 10th anniversary kind of went live, I've been doing some OPTC coaching and helping out a lower level account with one of the people I work with and in turn with that, we've been obviously doing PKA. So, in today's video, I actually managed to get them to level 100 with a, a different team, but this is the 100 plus team that we're going to be using today. We're going to be doing a bit of a showcase on how to take it down, even with a bit of a lower level account. Now, this account was made when Gear 5 first dropped, but didn't really continuously play the whole time. So, they did have Gear 5, they managed to pick up Nami. Recently, through this celebration, they picked up the Anniversary Sabo, as well as the Rush Sugo Sanji. And this particular video will hopefully help you guys out with taking down level 100 plus. So that way you can get all of the rewards if you don't have as much investment or if you're struggling with some of these bigger name characters. Another beautiful thing about the team is it doesn't use any supports at all, which is really, really great. We are using our friend Captain Gear 5, which is a lot of fun because the combination of Gear 5 and Nami can do this very, very well. I think it's probably the best combination for this. Obviously, there's going to be speed teams and faster teams and whatnot, but for you guys that are struggling with it, the team looks a little bit like this. That's the team. There are no supports, and uh, let's go on and dive on in. Now, as you guys saw, we had the stats up. Um, I think it's like a 25% buff to uh, dex units, which is always nice, and as you can see, shout out to Ados um, for the, the run. We don't even have limit break on Sabo or... Luffy, nor do we have any cotton candy. Uh, honestly, I should have showed the sockets as well. The sockets are really low. I don't even think Sabo is max special level. Um, so not a lot of resources on this particular account to get it done. We'll see if this, this team can actually make it all the way to level 150. Obviously, I will like continuously keep helping him with this. Um, and I'll, I'll keep keep update with keep with updates on how far it can actually get. Now, if you guys are new to the game, but you have some of these characters, I, look, this team does use a lot of Super Sugo Fests, anniversary exclusives, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that this is the most buildable team in the game, but Nami has been around for, what, two years now. Um, the eighth anniversary Luffy is on the team. Rush Sanji was last year's anniversary character. So these characters have turned up quite frequently on these bigger celebrations. Plus Momo being a regular legend, he's been featured so many times since his release as well, which has been really good because he's a fantastic character. Uh, anniversary Sabo is probably one that people don't have that much accessibility to, but obviously he was on last year's anniversary banner. He was on this year's anniversary banner. He was on the uh, Worldwide Celebration banner. He was also on the 9.5 anniversary banner. So you could actually pick him up for free through logins as well. So, uh, and free multi. So hopefully you guys picked him up. And for the ship, as you guys saw, I'm using a level 11 ho, not even a level 12, and a level 11 ho ship. I recommend every new player level up the ho ship. It's fantastic for cooldowns. It's fantastic for um, the orb buff and the healing and all that fun stuff. Now, as you guys saw, I stalled a lot. I, I did all the stalling I could. Um, you probably don't need to stall that much, to be honest, because you just need to have Luffy special. The the Dex Luffy ready to go by this particular stage. Honestly, if you guys have some more Super Tandem investment in some of these characters as well, you're probably going to do a lot more damage than you see in today's video. But utilizing Luffy on turn uh, three against the Fishman gives you a full board of Tandem Orbs. You can lock them and you can just easily bypass that barrier. The Orb Buster is really nice too. It just works out really, really well. And then you can move on to the next stage against... Um, oh, I'm blanking what his name is. The guy that helps Nami and the guy that fucks Nami over. They put up six turns of damage reduction. Uh, you have a special one from the previous turn. 99 turns of a massive attack down, and then there's also a massive attack down if you're below a 3.5 times chain. The enemies have barriers, and you do not want to kill Genzo. That's his name. Do not kill Genzo. He has a one perfect barrier. Just be very, very careful because we are going to use the Gear 5 um, EX on this turn. You don't actually need to use the Gear 5 EX. Nami actually removes the damage reduction, which is great, um, but the upside to the Gear 5 EX is you can then bypass the barrier. Bypassing the barrier is very, very important because you also lose your potential ability. So if you have barrier pen, that's not going to work either. But using Nami, you get a chain boost. Then you can use Sabo for three turns of a chain boundary. He also locks those tandem mobs that we kept from the previous turn. We have four turns on an attack buff, nine turns of end of turn damage with Momo, and then we can carry that into the next stage. Unfortunately, Genzo is going to remove our chain boundary for this final stage. He takes a turn, 
to basically remove that attack down on that fun stuff. So that way, when you move into the final stage, you lose the Sabo chain boundary. You get paralyzed, you get blind on this final stage. Both your captains remove that. There's also one turn of damage and all seven turns of resilience, but we're going to be able to remove that with our captains as well. Gear five is going to uh, remove the damage nullification as well as give us an orb boost and a color affinity boost. The downside to gear five is he gives us a full board of psi orbs and there is three turns of all type orbs being negative. So a bit of a bummer there, but you can paralyze the enemy. So Nami works great. You get Nami's chain boost. You get Nami's massive base stat boost as well. Um, you have to use Nami on turn four to get the Sabo effects. So you only have like 50 charges, but it's still like a massive 2.0 chain boost on top of what uh, Sanji's doing. So make sure you use Nami first. She's going to be a higher base stat. She's going to be a higher chain boost. Once you swap back with Sanji, he gives you recovery orbs, and then you can get a tandem orb on Nami. So if you have better uh, tandem abilities, you should be able to trigger that too. The downside to this team is you don't remove the burn, so you do have to be very, very careful with your perfects. But as you can see here, like we just tap with two units, and we actually managed to kill with greats. So I feel like there's a lot of damage left in the team. We have two units with type advantage, so they're going to hit really, really hard too. Plus, like I said, if you guys have better super tandems with maybe your super tandem Luffy, or you have a super tandem with Nami, for example, you guys should be able to do a lot more damage there. And um, I'd be very interested to see how far this particular team can actually get. The boss have got a Hime turtle as well. Like, I, I I don't even have a Hime turtle drop yet, which is crazy. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to bell the like button, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff. Most importantly, wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. Good luck with pick A level 100 plus. I fucked up all my runs today. Very frustrating. So I was very glad to get this one out for you guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Night!